This video series explains how to deploy Windows 7 from Windows XP using the Windows Automated Installation Kit and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010. My name is Jay Paloma. Rolling out Windows 7 into the Windows XP environment may be a daunting task for a lot of admins. Good thing Microsoft came out with free tools to help us in doing so. One of which is the Windows Automated Installation Kit or WAIK and the other is Microsoft Deployment Toolkit or MDT. WAIK consists of command prompt utilities that allow us more power and flexibility in our deployment options while MDT gives us automation and consistency. It is best for the deployment techie to learn how to use WAIK before venturing into MDT, which automates the key functions of WAIK. Let's now take a look at how to generate the Windows pre-installation environment boot CD using WAIK. This boot CD is used to boot up the PC on WinPE. I have my Windows Server 2008 machine installed with WAIK. Please note that we don't need Windows Server 2008 to install WAIK. I will now access the Deployment Tools command prompt from the Start menu. Once in the command prompt, I will now use the Copy PE command to copy some files into a working folder, in this case, WinPE underscore x86. Next, I will now copy the winpe.wim file into a designated folder winpe underscore x86 backslash iso backslash sources and name it as boot.wim. Next, I will copy the imagex.exe command from program files into the ISO folder. Finally, I will now use the OSCDIMG command to generate the files in the ISO folder into an ISO file. Note that the winpe underscore x86.iso file is created. We can now use our favorite software to burn that ISO file into a CD. But before we do that, it would be better to check first if the ISO file would really deliver. It would be frustrating to burn a CD only to find out later it doesn't work. On a Hyper-V machine or a virtual PC, Create a new virtual machine 
and make sure it boots from CD using the winpe underscore x86.iso file that we created. Start the machine to boot it up. If prompted to press any key to boot from CD or DVD, do so. Once booted, check the files. You also need to ensure image X is present. You have seen how to generate the WinPE boot CD using WAIK. You will use this CD later to boot up a Windows 7 machine to acquire the image and generate a WIM file and still later, to boot up a new machine to apply the WIM file. Make sure that you watch the rest of the videos in this series. This has been Jay Paloma.